Lord of the Rings Online released about uh, well, just over a year ago, and this is the first paid for expansion for the game. Uh, the expansion includes lots of new content, which we're very excited about. So, namely, uh, we're increasing the level cap from level uh, from 50 levels in the first game um, up to uh, 60 uh, with Mines and Morio, so 10 extra levels. Um, we're also including two brand new classes um, for both new and players to uh, to use and take part with. And um, obviously, we'll, we're also in, uh, including uh, two new areas. So that's the Mines of Moria and uh, beyond the Misty Mountains and beyond Moria into uh, Lothlorien as well. So two brand new areas for the expansion. Um, beyond that, we're also including uh, a new piece of uh, game functionality, which uh, is new to, uh, we believe, any MMO out there at the moment. And uh, that is called uh, legendary items or legendary weapons. And these are basically weapons that grow with your character over time. The release of Mines of Moria is coming pretty close to World of Warcraft's Wrath of the Lich King. How do you at Codemaster feel about that? Um, how do we feel about that? It's a good question. Um, the honest answer is, I mean, Blizzard are great at what they do and they have you know, a huge player base. And to be honest with you, there's nothing much we can do about that, to be honest. I mean, we just concentrate on our game and our community. I mean, we have a fantastic game in The Lord of the Rings Online. It's a, a global number one best-selling title for us, and we have a huge, huge player base for the title. We just concentrate on delivering those guys um, great, a, a great game, great customer service, great content, and uh, we pretty much you know, leave everyone else to, uh, to do what they need to do.